All right, let's keep it real. Nobody likes to cold call, including myself. We all know that cold calling can be very intimidating and draining because you're always getting cursed out. Somebody's telling you to F off. You're just dealing with people who are angry and it's just not fun, you know? And we all know that. And sometimes people are even threatening you. But you know what they say, sometimes you gotta go through the dirt in order to get to the gold or something like that. Anyways, cold calling isn't fun, but it can be very lucrative. And it literally is how me and my partner got our first deal in 2019, which turned out to be a $16,000 deal just off of a cold call. And I still cold call to this day. So I wanna give you guys some tips on how to overcome your fear of cold calling so you can get more deals in your business. What's up you guys, my name is Lillian Chuck Weezy, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. I drop multiple videos a week about real estate, entrepreneurship, and investing, and all I ask is that you guys hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you get alerted when I drop the next video. So let's get into it. One way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to keep your why in mind. Now, I know this is cliche, but you really need to understand what your why is. Honestly, your why should outweigh the fear of you having to make a cold call. Because if you know this call is what's gonna make you $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, and it's gonna help you feed your family, that desire to you know make that money and help your family out should definitely outweigh the fear that you have of calling somebody. And at the end of the day, we're all people. You know, and I understand, like I said, you know, sometimes people will curse you out, this and that and the third, but you gotta understand you are catching these people completely off guard and you just gotta respect that. And understand another thing is that we're calling through a phone. These people don't even see you. So I think when it comes to cold calling, we put all these ideas and fears in our head that we don't wanna deal with all this rejection. Um, but it comes down to just being able to understand what your why is and that should really motivate you to make those calls. The second way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to simply change your mindset and how you refer to your cold calling sessions. This is one technique that I have used to, to basically propel me through my um, cold calling sessions. I call in my money calls. Every time, every morning that I wake up and I gotta do my calls, I call in my money calls. You know why? Because they lead to money. So once you're able to make this mindset shift, it's really gonna help you and propel you to make these calls um, and just motivate you a little bit more to, to get on the phone and, and close these deals out because you know your family and you rely on, on making these calls. So, you know, have that mindset shift, really work on that and understand that, you know, your direct action of making these calls is what's gonna lead to a better life for you. And it all starts up here, guys. It all starts up here. Your mind is so powerful, so don't sleep on it. So yeah, I call my my cold calling sessions my money calls. So, you know, you need to figure out what, what you wanna call your cold calling sessions instead of just, you know, cold calling, because that's never exciting. Figure out something that you can refer to um, to make it a little bit more exciting for yourself. So the third way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to understand that people who know how to talk to other people will win. You gotta understand that business is a people game. You need to be able to talk to people, build rapport with people and have them know, like, and trust you, right? We all know that that's important in sales. People do business with people who they know, like, and trust. So if you can build those factors over the phone, then you can really increase, drastically increase your chances of being able to get these deals done. So as I mentioned, um, you know, if you're able to really understand how to talk to people and how, how to deal with people, you have a better chance of closing deals. And that honestly is a life skill that you can take to any type of business or just any part of life. Just being able to simply talk to people and have a conversation and help them get what they want. Now, another way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to simply understand that if everybody hates it, there's room for you to go in and make money. So if everybody is running from something, that means there's an opportunity for you to now step into that lane and be a master of that. And that's something that I'm doing in my business. I know that a lot of people hate cold calling or they'll outsource it to you know the Philippines or whatever. Um, and I know that that's something that a lot of people don't like to do. So if I can step into that lane and be a master in that, in that aspect, I know that I have a better chance of you know closing the deals out that I'm the, the people that I'm cold calling and if I become a master in that lane, I can help other people do the same. So again, understand that if all these people are running away from this one form of marketing, that you can now be the master and step into that lane and learn how to really be great at that thing. And essentially, you'll probably eventually get paid to do it for other people as well. So not only will you be a master at cold calling in your own business, you can now be a master 
or teach others to be a master in their business. So that's something to think about as well. You gotta learn to do what others want so you can live how others can't. That's how I think about it when it comes to cold calling. Another way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to understand that it's natural to have a fear of cold calling. You know, fear never really goes away. We kind of just learn how to transmute that energy into something else. Even when it comes to me, I'm not necessarily excited about cold calling. Um, and I'm not saying that I never fear getting on the phones, um, but I do transmute that fear into more of like anticipation. Um, I'm not too worried about, you know, what people are gonna say to me. I'm just anticipating that there's some homeowner out there that I'm going to call that needs my help. And I focus more on that and I anticipate that more so than the rejection that may come from these phone calls. And one way I'm able to kind of, you know, change my mind and, and, and work on anticipating um, those good calls versus the bad calls is to do some pre pre call affirmations. Um, and there's a couple things that I say to myself before I get on the phone and you know, it's just a mindset thing that I do before I get on the phone to put myself in the right state of mind to be able to deal with these homeowners that I'm calling. So that's a tip that I definitely give you guys to just work on transmuting your energy from fear to like anticipation, anticipating, you know, positive things that's gonna happen from these phone calls. Another way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to learn to love rejection. The more no's you get, the closer you are to a yes. And that's just how life is, guys. You gotta understand that rejection is just a part of the business. I mean, rejection is a part of life. You're not always gonna get somebody to say yes to you if you ask them a question. You gotta understand that being told no is perfectly fine. You wanna be able to work with people that wanna work with you. You don't wanna ever deal with people that don't necessarily wanna work with you. That's why when you do get the no's, you respect it and you say, okay, thank you for your time and you hang up. It's really that simple, guys. You know, at this point in my business, I work on getting a certain amount of no's because I know after I get a certain amount of no's, I'm gonna get closer to a yes. And it's really that simple. And when you finally do get that yes, you will be so grateful and so happy that you went through all those no's because that yes will be worth it more than anything. And obviously when it comes to dealing with the no's, you've gotta understand how to handle objections, guys. And you know, when it comes to, you know, wholesale real estate or just real estate investing in general, I'm trying to get houses under contract with sellers. There's a couple different objections that you should really have in your back pocket um, to understand and to be able to, um, you know, get over those objections when they're thrown at you. Um, and that's more of a thing of just practice. And that just comes with experience of dealing with different people who have different objections. But for the most part, the objections are the same. And you just got to know how to handle them. And that's, that's a part of helping you build your confidence over the phone. So another way to get over your fear of cold calling is to simply get over the imposter syndrome. Now, I know when it comes to wholesaling and real estate investing, um, in the beginning, I felt as though I was, you know, going through this imposter syndrome thing because, you know, I was calling these people saying that I want to buy their property, but I wasn't necessarily the one who was going to purchase their property. But as time went on, even my mentor said the same thing of understand that I am always um, the first option when it comes to, you know, buying a discounted kind of property. And the way that you can leverage yourself, even if you don't have that money in the account, in your account, is to understand that you always have access to money that being either private money or hard money. So if it came down to it and you found a deal that was $20,000 and you know it's worth $100,000, I'm sure you would be able to find um, a way to get that $20,000 so, so now you can then cash out at $100,000. So definitely learn to get over the imposter syndrome and understand that at least when it comes to wholesale and real estate that you do have access to the funds you know, as long as you actually seek that access. Another way to get over your fear of cold calling is to simply have an accountability partner. I know a technique that a lot of people use is, is to, you know, get on your phone um, and then have your partner on a Zoom call or whatever it is. And, you know, you guys are looking at each other in the camera, seeing each other call, and you can basically unmute um, when you feel as though you need to, you know, have a conversation or whatever the case is. You know, it's basically, it's nice to have an accountability partner, you know, somebody who's gonna you know, hold you accountable to you making those calls and you guys are kind of at the same level and struggling with the same things and learning to overcome those same things. And, you know, you can even get friendly, you know, have some fun with it, have a competition, you know, who can get the most no's in a day um, is a great way to go about it. Because now, as I told you before, the more no's you get, the closer you are to a yes. So, you know, if you work on getting the no's, you'll definitely get that yes that'll turn into a deal. Now, another way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to simply role play. Now, as I mentioned before, if you have an accountability partner, you can definitely use them to role play. Um, once you know what you're talking about when it comes to, you know, talking to these sellers, handling objections, you'll naturally feel a lot more confident when it comes to making these calls because you'll know what to say when they say certain things. So role playing is very, very helpful. 
And guys, I know a lot of times people will ask you questions and sometimes you won't know the answer to these questions and that's perfectly okay. So the last way to overcome your fear of cold calling is to understand that if you don't know the answer to a question, the easiest way to get out of that question, you can always answer with, with a question like, hey, is there a reason that you're asking me that question? Because there's a lot of weird things that sellers are gonna ask you and you can simply redirect with, an answer, with answering with a question. And it's a really, really interesting technique because they'll eventually completely forget about the question that they originally asked you if you know how to redirect the conversation. So that's a quick tip. Um, that was kind of a little bit of an extra tip that you know you might want to work on or you'll just get better you know, with experience. I mean, with everything, you'll get better with experience. So it's important to just get out there, make these calls, don't be fearful of it because these are the calls that are gonna lead to you having a successful business and helping you accomplish the things that you're looking to financially accomplish. So guys, I hope those 10 tips were helpful to help you overcome your fear of cold calling. At the end of the day, I would say that if you know your desire and you know your why, that should really outweigh your fear of cold calling and you should be able and want to pick up the phone, make these calls, get these deals, feed yourself and your family and have fun doing it. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you haven't done so yet, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already so you get alerted when I drop the next video. I talk all about real estate, entrepreneurship, and investing. So if any of those topics interest you, definitely hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next video. Stay safe and stay blessed.